Well, that's awesome. So you know today's the first. So we're finally in 2012. Okay. Yep. So listen, now that nobody's around, I want to ask you a couple questions, okay? okay? Since we know nobody's listening in or bugging you. What do you think about the caretaker, about that Leslie woman? I don't know. You don't know? I mean, what, how do you feel about her? Because it seems like when I come over there, you know, you're always real nervous and biting on your nails and stuff. I mean, do, do, you, do you not like her there? Would you rather have family there watching you? I would, but that's not what they decided. Yeah, I know. I know. We're still trying to work on that. We're still trying to work on it. I mean, Pete said he would do it. You know, Tom would help. Shoot, I'd even move over there with the babies. But Diane said you don't want the house noisy. I just don't know if that's Diane saying that or if that's how you really feel. What do you think? She doesn't feel like what? Well, Diane said that you, you, that you don't want babies over at your house because it'd be too noisy. She said you want, to, you want it quiet. I'm just trying to get your opinion. What do you think? Oh, well, I think that's right. You think that's fine? Yes. You wouldn't mind babies over there making some noise? No. Okay, but you would really rather have family there? Yes. Okay. I'm still working on it, Grandma. I'm trying, man. No. <laughs> Um, I did get her to agree to let you go gambling, though. So she's agreed that Mom will be able to take you to the casino. I'm not sure when we can plan to do that, but once you get out and you get a little stronger, shoot, we'll plan a casino trip. Okay. Sound good? Uh-huh. Okay, now, anything else? Because, listen, I don't know if they've got a tape recorder at your house, Grandma. I don't, you know, I don't know what's going on. We're not allowed to mention certain things around you, they tell us, you know, so I'm just trying to get your opinion. I mean, does Leslie treat you right when we're not there? You know, does she just sit around, or does she actually do stuff for you? I don't know. You don't know? Mm-hmm. Well, I got Baby Doll here with me. Oh, you do? Yeah, she's been sleeping with me every night. She's stayed over here since you've been gone. Mm-hmm. I'm about to make her and the boys some eggs for lunch, because they had... McDonald's for breakfast. Mm-hmm. But yeah, she's doing good. Every day she runs over to your house and peeks in the window to see if you're home yet. So she's waiting on you. That's a little hard. Oh no. She's being really good though. You know, she has not peed at all over here. Good. Not once. She's out in the yard right now peeing. Mm-hmm. She has been doing excellent on that. Every time I feed her, I've been making her good meals for dinner, and then I take her out right after she's done. She always poops. She hasn't had any accidents in the house. That's great. Yeah, she's been doing awesome. Completely awesome. Now, because you know when you went into the hospital, you had pneumonia, and they said you were starting to get some bed sores around your butt. So what I'm going to start doing when you get home, because, I mean, every time I come over there, you're... Hello? 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 Hey. You there? You there? What? You there? I don't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if that was you hitting a button or maybe a baby picked up a phone and he was hitting a button. But, um, yeah, every time I see you at the house, it seems like you're laying in the same position. Does Leslie not move you around enough? you think that's maybe why you're getting sores on your butt? I don't know. So, listen, what I'll start doing when you get home, I'll come over there a couple times a day at least, and we'll roll you on your side. Um, the nurse told me a way I can prop some pillows up kind of under your butt a little to make sure your butt's not constantly sitting in the seat, you know? That way we won't get any sores on you, so your butt... Is that you hitting buttons or is that a baby hitting buttons? I don't see a baby with the phone. That's probably you. I dropped the phone. Oh, okay. Okay, but other than that, you're doing good, huh? Yeah, we're doing fine. Okay, awesome. Well, Mom and Dad will be back tonight. Um, uh, and then what I'll do... Steve works every day, but I'll have Mom maybe watch the babies tomorrow and come up there and see ya. I'll get somebody to bring you some oysters and stuff tomorrow, though, okay? Okay. All right. You be good. I love you, and I'll see you soon, okay? Okay. Okay. Have a happy new year, Grandma. Thank you. Okay. We miss you.
I love you too. Okay, you hey, you let me know if anybody's being mean to you or to baby over at your house, you whisper it to me and let me know and I'll take care of it, okay? Okay. Okay, I love you. I love you. All right. Bye. Bye. Uh, okay, January 20th, 2012, it's bought an extra one of these. I didn't know I still had one outside in the fridge. I figured grandma can drink it. Oh, yeah, it's good till January 31st. I just, I didn't know I had, I already had one outside, so I figured, you know, I'm not going to drink that much. The boys only drink organic. But yeah, it's good till January 31st, so. Yeah, that's all the babies eat, though, so I can't, I can't shice them on that. Hey! How you doing? Hi, gorgeous. You were looking pretty damn sleepy last night. Yeah. You were knocked out. You were tired. Um, I was thinking about going and getting a puzzle. We can work tomorrow. Can we find one? What, what kind of puzzles do you like? We need some big pieces. So we're both getting old and our eyes are getting shitty. <laughs> I'm getting up there with you now, Grandma. I was never supposed to get 30 years old. I was supposed to. I was. I, I just turned 30, but still, I'm supposed to stay in my 20s forever. That was my plan. That was probably your damn plan too, huh? You feeling okay? You look good. You were scaring me last night. You were so sleepy. You were tired. You feeling good though? Good deal. Good deal. Well, maybe I'll go get us a puzzle. Do what? Oh, you see that woman? You are doing it. Be Shit. I don't give a damn what you want. We want you to live till 99, so you better just hang in there for us. <laughs> How your feet feeling? Uh -huh. They good? 
Yeah, remember what they said. Get these and kick them up. See how you can lift them? So what we got to do is get some strength back in them. You know, he said get your knees. Make sure you bend them at the knees a little bit. Does that hurt at all? Yeah, see? Just a couple times a day, just kick these legs out a little. You know, do your feet. You know, flex them a little if you can. Does that hurt? Point them a little bit. Flex them. Oh, shit, she was doing good, though. What was useless? Oh, well, the, the, the nurse said, the physical therapist guy that was here, if she can build that strength up, she'll be able to use them. It, she just got to do it constantly. She's got to be worked with constantly, you know? That's all we need. I'm telling you, we can get you strong again. I know we can. You hear me? I know we can, okay? You hang in there. We're working on it, okay? Um, I've got a newspaper coming over today, and I've got Channel 2 News and Fox all coming to do a story on you, okay? To help you get out of this, okay? Is that okay with you? Is that okay with you? We're trying to get your help, okay? We're going to try to get over here. Okay? Get you where you feel comfortable with us. We love you. That's why we got to get you strong, okay? That's why we got to get you strong. We'll get you out of this situation. Does that hurt at all? No? Good do. Do what? I said, get a good visit in, because after 1 o'clock, nobody's going to see her until 1 Monday. Why not? I mean, I can't come over here and do a puzzle with him? Are you serious? I'm bitch. I'm beyond serious. Why can't I come over here and do a puzzle with her? Because you could have a year ago, and where were you? Uh, Diane, I was always over here. You can tell that to somebody else. Wait a minute, just wait a minute. You can come over during the week, you're over in the I, I know, why can't can I come and see her on the weekend? last night, I'm done with What her. did I do last night? It doesn't matter what you did. Did you see her last night, Diane? Do you know how exhausted she was yesterday, Jennifer? Do you know why? Do you know why she was? She's not miserable, Jennifer. Yes, she is, Diane, ask her. She is not. Yes, I will. I'll She's not going to say it when you do it and make a big deal out of it. She's scared of me. She won't what Diane, she's scared of me. Do you realize that nobody has ever, I'm 52 fucking years old, and nobody has ever been scared of me. And your dad can ask Alex to confide in him, but I've never laid a hand on Alex Cheatham. Why would we think you've laid a hand on Alex? And then, regardless, why can't I come and see her on the weekends? Do you understand? She's 87 years old, Diane. Why would you think the Foster family would want to keep Alex? Y'all are crazy. Why can't I come? Have I come over here and raised any hell? But have I come over here and started any shit with you? You know what? I just want to come and see her every day that I can. And everything rolls back to me. You know, I know that Heather and her husband like to go to a hotel and fuck like animals. Who are, who, who, where are you getting this? Lips sink ships. Heather has two kids. Heather told me years ago. Heather has two kids. How would her and her husband leave and go to a hotel ever? And, and why, what does that have to do with me coming over and seeing her? You know that everything goes okay. wrong. Okay, I don't ever come over and start anything. Why would you tell me I can't come and hang out with her? I mean, are you that cool? I am that cool. Why don't you ask her if she wants me to come and see her? Are you miserable here? Mm. I didn't think so. I thought this was the whole idea was to get you back in your house with quality people to care for. This is the whole idea. I don't understand why I can't come and hang out with her. You can, Jennifer. You're here right now. You can stay here until 1 o'clock. I, I know, but what's the it problem? Just discussed it with her. Okay, what's the problem with me coming and doing puzzle with her tomorrow? What's the problem with waiting until Monday? Well, because I want to see her every day, Diane. Don't you get that? I was sick for weeks. I want to see her every day. You do realize that I have been here for the last couple of years witnessing and watching what goes on? Okay, Diane, I've been here all the time. Yes, I'm always here seeing her. I've been walking meals over here to her since I was in ninth grade. 
And you're going to try to tell me I can't come and see her on the weekend? Diane, this isn't a fake cry. Don't you get that I love her? It's not the end of the world. Would you like me to come into a puzzle with you this weekend? She's going to say, see? she's going to say no with you right there. Like she's going to tell you she's miserable with you right I here, Diane. Her many times with Leslie not even around. If she's comfortable with Leslie, but Diane's happy. Can't you tell that she wants us around? I mean, look at her. She wants us around. She How can you tell me I can't come and see her on the weekend? This is my grandmother. That's ridiculous. Because behavior supersedes. What have I done? Have I done something wrong? I didn't say anybody has done anything wrong. I'm not pointing fingers. But people's behavior needs to be in check. And mine's in check. She's 87. Okay, and mine's in check, so why can't I come and see her? Leslie, am I ever mean to you? No. I mean, do you think I'm going to come over here and be mean to her caretaker? I think it's evident. I love you. You know how the fuck she thinks she can tell me I can't come see you. <laughs> Grandma, will you tell her the truth? If nobody wants her out of her home, don't you get that this is exactly where we want her to be? Diane, they come over and they holler because some of the things you do are pretty questionable. That's why. But I wasn't even here and you're down to some perfect night bitch. Dad was upset. What did he tell you? He called you a bitch? He was going out the door. I was only going in here. No, he was not calling you a bitch. Leslie, you were talking to him last night, and you even told my dad how downhill she's gone. Yes. The doctor yes, said yes. Right now, while y'all doing this, she and I are going to go talk in the other room. The doctor yesterday said she looked great, and he said, I'm glad to see she got good care. And this and is the class right. that you took her to? Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, obviously his words don't mean much, Diane. You call him a quack yourself. Okay, Diane, why would you do this to her? I'm not doing anything. Am I mean to your caretakers? Am I mean to you? Am I mean at all? You weren't not. You're the only one that's not. Well, can I, I, just myself, at least come and see her on the weekends? Diane, we don't know how much time she is. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Because, Diane, I'm telling you, she told me she was unhappy, Diane. She told me. Hold on. Diane, you refuse to listen to it. You need to get it in your head. I have it in my head. Do you know that nobody dealt with her husband's death but me? Do you realize that? How do you figure? Because I was here. Uh, we were here too, Diane. No, yes, we were, except for the time we got locked out of the house. We were dealing with it. And the excuse was... And we dealt with it. You didn't even show up to Grandpa's memorial, Diane. I didn't. Why would I? Was because that was your late. father. It was too little, too fucking late. What do you mean it was too little, too late? He died when? Uh, his body was donated to science. We waited then? until we got his remains That's and then we had a memorial. That is, you don't even remember. See, I've got an ex. No, Diane, memory. I do remember. His ashes were right there two weeks after he died. Less than No, they weeks. weren't. Yes, they were. Diane, we've got his ashes at home. I've got a necklace that has some of his ashes in it. Regardless, I don't care who you're pissed off at. I'm not Can I come and see her this weekend? I want you to get this straight. I'm not wasting my energy on being pissed off at anybody. Well, then let this is me, about my mother. I don't care who you let come see her. And let me know. The baby's coming. She see just her. had days that were going to bring her down. Her anniversary is going to bring her down. Do you realize that Hold sometimes on. she doesn't even Udine. remember that Grandpa passed away? And that's and even Diane, worse. You told me, to you told her. me that Udine was a quack. Okay. Why don't we find her a good doctor and let's work together as a family what and try to get now? her better. It matters now because we Jeez. can still get her strength back. You don't seem to understand that, but your nurses that come over here, when I talk to them, they tell me she can regain her strength. That's something we have to work on as a family, Diane. That is something we have to work on. I'm you can at least tell me that I'm I can come and see her this week, and I don't do anything wrong. She has atrophy in her ankles, and you know okay, how that and, got there? And you know what I was there? told? You know how that got there? The guy that came and assessed her? Did that happen? The atrophy? No, I'm not a doctor, Diane, and I wouldn't trust the quack that told you that. Stop. 
and it was never started again. Oh, because of Marsha Peavy? No. Yes. No. That's when her therapist no. stopped. Her therapists no. were coming no. twice a week, yes. Diane. No. I was here. I live across the street. You live in Austin. No. Yes. Her therapist no. came. No, you were not here more than I was. You just never saw me here because you were here and you shoved on me with an infant. And Thomas Lyon? What do you believe that comes out of Tom's mouth all the time, Diane? Well, you know, there are some things that happen to be the truth because I kind of saw it. Yeah, well, I'm hearing quite a bit of shit now, too. All of these fucking videotapes and recordings and shit. Bring it on. I don't even care. Do you know that I told my attorney that Yvonne Silva might say that I smoked weed with her and he laughed? That's how dysfunctional... Diane, they say they've got tapes of the whole drug deal Archie went on. I'm sure they do. And that Alex came out in the garage and caught y'all smoking, they've got that on tape. Oh, good. You know, it's against the law to put... Uh, any kind of surveillance and stuff. This has happened. nothing to do with me. Don't you see? I just want to come and see You're her. Right in the middle of it, Jennifer. I'm in the middle of it because I live there. The Chronicle. You know what the Chronicle ever contacted you know me again? Why? I still talk to the woman from the Chronicle. She got all the information. That's why nothing ever came I still again. talk to her all the time. Yeah. Diane, we did that because of Marsha Peavy. Putting her in the house with that fucking woman. Trying to kill her, Diane. Don't you get taken, that? You know why she was taken out of this house? It's because David or somebody told them Tom was going to kill himself. That's why my mother was taken out She was taken house. out of this house because Tom was here and doing drugs. But Diane, you told me the other day you even wanted Tom to come back in, so why was that the other day? That wasn't the other day. That was December 12th. That's what day that was. But, but I mean, who cares? I'm not bitching about that. I want you to tell me that I can come and see her this weekend. I don't do anything wrong to her. I, thought Tom, I don't scream at I her. I that Tom was sincere when he said he'd do anything for his mother. But Tom's doesn't... Tom speak. would do anything for Tom his mother. Doesn't have the don't you get that? Tom is fucked up on drugs, Diane. He loves her to death. He loves her to death. He loves her to death. But I have her on recording. He and Pete in this house screaming like a bunch of banshees in front of her till she cries. Look, Diane, you can she hear gets her up crying. upset because of the animosity with you and the rest of the family. It doesn't have anything to do with me. I wasn't here. And I was not even fucking here. Do you know why? Yeah. I was Because they've house. got Leslie on recording wanting to buy a hundred somas in this house telling them how much she sells her pain pills for. That's why they're upset. Do I look like I care about any of that? that? I care about her. The judge doesn't even give a shit. I want to come and see her. They all knew that Tom Tom was a crackhead, and they were all agreeing that if he could just hold it together, he could stay in his house and be a caregiver. Do you not understand? I don't care about that. Tell me, I can come and hang out with her this weekend so she sees somebody that she knows and loves. She's going to be fine because I'm going to be here. Okay, well then can I come and hang out with you guys and bring a puzzle to do with her this weekend? Me and the babies. I don't come over here and start any shit. I don't come over here and scream in front of her. I got a little upset today because you're telling me I can't see her, Diane, and she's 87 years old. <laughs> How long do you think she's going to last if family can't come around and hang out with her? Look at me, please. Stop texting and look I'm at me. I'm not texting. I'm, I'm being serious. Please, I'm look at me. Serious. I'm dead serious. Please, look at me. That is my mother. That is your mother. That's right. That so you my broke mother. the family. I made up a family. family story, and supposedly I wanted to fuck your dad and get all his money. Do you know how what insane all of this is? What do you mean you made up that story? You know how insane all of this is? What is Diane, I'm asking that I am eating her with this babies. morning and said that, and I know that this place is bugged. It is illegal. I could care less because I don't have anything to hide. I don't have anything okay, to hide. Okay, then that's not a problem. So, no, but check this out. Your dad says that I said something, and this is the first week my mother was here. So this is between December the 12th and December the 19th. Mary, the older lady that Tom picked on, she was going to put a suppository in my mother's ass. And I said, pretend like you're in prison, Mom. Do you think my mother thought that was funny? Or do you think my mother thought that was, let's see, how did he word it? Degrading, uh, rude, um, he's in my trash. Let's see, how did he word that? Pretend you're, you're in prison, Mom. How rude and inconsiderate can you be? But I saw your dad, my father, got up from this chair, and your dad was sitting there, and 
my father got up and he walked towards his room. And your father said to my father, when your diaper is dragging to your knees, you need a new one. That's how dad that. played with that. Were you, play, hold on. Were you playing with grandma? But were you playing with grandma when, when you, you said that? I was serious? Well, well, of course. It was a joke. Don't you get that dad was joking with grandpa too? Why he probably wrote dad, that to make you, you see I, that. Do you think, Don't you understand no, that they you, love her? Why do you, keep your voice down. I'm serious. All her. my mother wants is peace and quiet. Can you, can you let me come and see her on the weekend? I want to see her every day that I can. Why does that matter to you? Do I come in it here screaming at her? Am I mean to you and it your caretakers? It matters to me. It matters to the caretakers, and I'm not going to have people well, run your them caretakers, off. I'm not coming to run them off. I'm never mean to them, Diane. I want to come and see her. It's just like it's too little, too late, and I'm not going to deal with it, and I don't have to. Okay, are you dealing with any crap from me, though? Hold on. I get it on hold. I gotta get the light. You. Okay. Come on, baby. Let's go see Mama. Little Springer. You wanna go see Mama? Let's go see Mama. <laughs> How cute. Let's go see Mama. I know. Let's go see Mama. That's Pete. There's Pete. Where's Pete? Is that Pete? There's Pete, Baba girl. There's Pete. There's Pete. You're so sweet. Yes, you are. You're just a little sweet girl. There you go. Get him, Baba girl. She loves that door being open. She can go right in that fucking door. She can go in and out. Yep. Do whatever she wants to do. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at her run. She don't have to wait on us to let her out. Boop. Right through the dog door. She goes right through that dog door. I got mom for 30 right. I want all my mail. What do they want? What do they want? They got oh, good. They want money from the wreck. Oh, that's a warrant for my arrest, probably. Texas Department of Public Safety. She's on. She, she, you hungry? You want some dirty rice? Let's take a couple of bites. Why, hey, did you sleep last night? Then you ain't, then, then you need to get up and eat. Come on. Don't be easy. Just be easy. Just be easy, girl. That's okay. She said, I, I, I'm used to being on my mama. Yeah, but mama's sore now than she used to be. Easy. Just be easy. You got to be easy. Huh? She wants to sleep, she said. Well, you know what? You got to eat, Mom, because you had not been eating good. Oh, she got. Oh, that's why she's she tired. Didn't even eat breakfast. That's why she's tired. She had blood taken from her. That's why she's wore out. You want some of this shit? Do you want some of this? You know what's funny? Look at her. Is the doctor that I bought? She selectively eats it instead of the other stuff. She eats. She loves the other stuff. Well, for some. And she doesn't like to drink out of a bowl. She's liking the strain. She likes a cup. You're not gonna believe this, but. You're not gonna believe, but this little dog likes her cup of water. Here, baby. Here. Come here. Here. Look. Look. There, I saw the little cows. I didn't see any ponies or cows. They got miniature cattle. 
Brahma bull. Yeah, they're Brahmas and uh, white face, herpers. I've never seen any before. Oh, they're expensive. Real expensive. I just call this. I'm gonna put this bowl in the, in the fridge with the top on it. So if she gets hungry for some rice later. Oh, what are you smoking? The only thing I'm legally allowed to while I'm working. Really? Yeah. Wow. What is it? Uh, you put some it, it Oxycontin in there? <laughs> That's what I'd do. That. Huh? First out of that. But if you put that in there, you could probably smoke it, huh? How much do you pay for your what? floor sets? I think they're like three bucks a piece. How much? You're getting a really good deal. I, I sell them for four fifty. Really? Yeah. Four fifty? Yeah. That's kind of high, isn't it? Uh, what about that? What about Xanax? Xanax. You get Xanax? No, I don't. I don't. It's a personal. I know people that do. Yeah. It, but yeah. Uh, it's a lot higher in Pasadena. Oh, well, sure it is. Everything is, because they got to bring it from here over there. <laughs> I, I know. That's what it's good. That's what the deal is. I don't know. We've got everything better over here and cheaper, no matter what it is. Huh? How much y'all pay for a house of coke? I have no clue. They get that, it for, there's six over here. Is that a good deal? I don't know. Right. Oh. No. Fucking eight balls were a hundred bucks. So awesome. At one time, I mean, that, that, hell, eight ball gram used to be a hundred. Hey, I got me some mail too. I'm gonna burn mine. Oh, I get it. What are you feeding them? Uh, gizzards that mom didn't eat. Give me that damn thing. Love uh, fucking gizzards. I love gizzards and livers. I love chicken innards. What's the name of the meat market where you get the big bucket? What's the B&M or D&M or? I don't know. The, the one on, on Shepherd. Never been there. It's like on Shepherd with a big child. Mm-hmm. Go down, down Pine Mark. Water on the floor. Down Pine Mark. That's the baby. Are you going home? Really? Are you going she home? loves the glass. She thinks she's human. That's a completely, it's the, um, who's they, JR's or something? Yeah. DJ's. You're going to need yeah. Karen said to say hi to everybody. It was a wholesale place where they take cash. From let me tell you. Let me tell you. Food, let me tell you where you go to get the other. Yeah, tell me. Okay. Take me to 610 because I haven't lived here for so long. I'm, on, I'm going down 290 and I hit 610 and I go to Shepherd. Under the freeway. Oh, back this way. North. Toward Globe. Okay, I get confused with that. St. Pius 10. Okay. Remember when we go to Globe, yeah, St. Pius 10? Yeah, yeah. We'll stop that far down. It's on the left. Going down, you're going to go past 34th, 43rd. It's going to be on the left. D&M or &M, something. Okay. Or M&D. Okay. Shit. Let me, go find, let me go find out. He's going to eat all our food. He goes through the dog door. That's how I knew I could get in this sucker any time I wanted to when I saw him go through that dog door. The big dog just went through the dog door. That big dog can go through that dog door, yeah. Oh, yeah, look how small it is. I can fit through there. I'm not going to. Uh-uh, you ain't getting fed now. Hell no. Hell no, I'm going to find out what the name of the boot name place is. You ain't going to catch me going through that motherfucker. Because once you get a picture of me going through the fucking dog door. <laughs> hey, do y'all need this? Don't lose my little grinder, man. The lady just asked about that. We do? She just asked if there was one here. Yeah. We got one. My little grinder. No, bring it, bring it, bring your grinder. Matter of fact, I threw a bunch of magazines away, and there was porn, and I kept the porn, so I'm a good girl. Who's porn? Who had porn? <laughs> penthouse. Could have been anybody. I bet you know whose penthouse it is. I bet it's old Tumbleson when he used to run around here with his fucking penthouse in his back pocket. Fucking crazy motherfucker. Run around with a penthouse in his back pocket. Okay, well, I don't talk to Dave too much. Right. I don't talk to him too much anymore. I think they're getting ready to cancel. Have you seen the new Playboy with uh, whatever his name is? You coming with us? And so she went into play now. Crazy.
You know, I come over here, I offer to help, I run over anytime y'all need help moving her or doing anything, Diane. I come over here for anything y'all need, and you're going to tell me that now all of a sudden I can't come see her this weekend? I'm at home all day, Diane. It's not that big of a deal. It is that big of a deal, because that's my fucking grandmother, and I love her. She lives right next door to her. Exactly. What did she do the Christmas before this past Christmas? What do you mean, what did she do? What did she do that day? Like, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I mean, she always hangs out with us when we bring her food on the holidays if she doesn't want to come over. And what does this have to do with me being able to come and see her? I mean, do I cause trouble when I'm over here? Do I do anything besides come over here and help you? The one problem that we've all acknowledged is if you really aren't around her enough to know her condition. And Diane, I can and tell by looking, looking at her when she feels really bad. Attention. We do pay attention. Don't you get that we took care of her for years? We Who made is Michael. Michael was a caretaker. For what? Yeah, he was helping. Parents. Yeah, Grandpa wanted him here. He helped. He did Grandpa cooking and cleaning. Okay, and he was paid five hundred dollars a week, and now my mother can't even feed herself. And people are so unreasonable that they think just family should care. Do you know why she can't feed herself, Diane? She needs to do this stuff. Exactly. We need to build her strength up. And what do you Don't you get instead of her sitting here constantly, we need to have her lifting some cans. We need to have her doing all that kind of thing, Diane. That's what gets her better. Jennifer, just her getting in and out of the car and waiting for office. Where's her ass out? Because she doesn't exercise. She's 80 fucking I know that, Diane. I know Did that. you see her getting exercised at Legend Oaks? Did you see her crying? Well, Diane, that's because she doesn't want to do it. When the doctor was here the other day, telling her to lift her arms, she couldn't even lift her arms. I said, Grandma, lift those arms for me. Ask God for what she did. Both up in the air and lifted them. When the doctor she was trying to get her, for less than yeah, when the doctor time. was trying to get her to do her legs, she couldn't do it. I said, Grandma, look, if I stand at the edge of your bed like this and I paint a big bullseye right on my ass, I said, show me you can kick those legs. And she kicked her legs for the doctor. She can do it, it's, Diane. It's she doesn't smart. like it's, people. She doesn't know telling her what to do. She doesn't like people that she knows telling That's her true. What to That's true. That's why I play with her. When I need her to do something, I'll say, Woman, you better do this. I'm going to keep I play with her. And the, way, does the way that it all is, is it's like, it's got to be y'all's way or it's not going to happen. It's not that. And it's we're not just gonna trying happen. to be reasonable. It's not going to happen. It's, we're trying to be reasonable. That's I, why we said, you guys move reasonable. down here. Move down here so it doesn't cost her any money. You could meet, hold on, you think I'm going to move here and permanently caretake for my own mother? I mean, why wouldn't you? For one, it's not healthy mentally. That's your mother. It is. It is. It it definitely is. And, and, And me being here on the weekends and seeing how incredibly hard it is mentally, I know for a fact what needs to be done. Yeah, she needs family here. If she you're willing to do that, you need care. to move down here. Where is she going to get professional care? care? You don't think Leslie's a pre- professional? I, mean, I like Leslie. Like 30 years. I think Leslie's fine. Professional? The problem Why is, do you think Leslie has a bad back? Look, I, I, I don't know. She's been doing this for 30 years. 30 years. Would you, do you think you think you'd have a bad back after 30 years of picking people up? Look, I don't know. But I mean, why couldn't you move down here and take care of her? If she wants family here, then why don't you do it? Well, she'll say yes to anything y'all ask her. I've asked her if she wants family being here, and she doesn't. And she doesn't say yes to anything I ask her. You know, it's it's really nothing to argue about or even talk but about. I want you to see that I am not an she is dying. I am she not needs an to be happy, person. Diane. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been granted guardianship, not and the wording wouldn't have been worded the way that it was if I was an unreasonable don't you, person. Don't you understand that she's not happy, I didn't happy, graduate Diane. high school, so y'all bring Yvonne to court to testify that I didn't graduate I high school. I never even knew Yvonne. That yet, was the first day I met her. But okay? yet, my whole family's there, but Yvonne has to be brought into court. You think the judge can't see that? I'm not manipulating anybody or anything. I talked to my lawyer, who, by the way, is $375 an hour, and that's where Susan needed to have our little meeting. I know the game, you know. I might have not graduated from that. Actually, school. Susan didn't want the meeting there at your lawyer's not. office, but she that was where they put it. No, she, she demanded it to be there. She didn't want it done the no, first no, place. No, she wanted to meet at a more neutral oh, place. And then she said, fine, that place is you. She's lying to you. 
I don't even know if I still have that because I trashed it. Listen, off. Diane, that's a ball face. You're saying this weekend. Susan set up the meeting and I said it had to be at my lawyer's house. I don't like this people. weekend. Yeah, I don't like people Can that I lie. Come and see her? I have a habitual liar that lives in my house that's mentally ill, and I don't like to be lied Man, to. That's a great kid. I, He's mentally ill. Is that a bad thing? thing? You know why he's a great kid? You know why he's a great kid? Because he lives in my fucking house with me and my husband. He is mentally ill. He's got... He's like just three disorders and issues. Yeah, he's been fucked over by his family. Oh, no, that's why you need to love him unconditionally. What do you think I'm doing to him? You act like you live at my house. Well, Alex, Alex, is, hold on. The way you hold talk. On. The does way Alex you talk about him him around me. Does Alex seem scared? But then, Diane, why do you talk about him like that? I said he was mentally ill, oh, no, But you always say he's a terrible kid. He's not. He's so great. You don't have a clue, Jenny. But I'm saying from what you've told me, Diane. You don't have a clue of what Alex is about. He's Alex is so polite nice and he's so up there. He had a polite. very hard time. You know why he's polite? But again, again, he's polite because of Archie and myself. And he is a poor kid. But I didn't fuck him. I didn't starve him. And I don't starve him at my house, if you can tell. And I've never laid a hand on him. I don't want like anybody's child. child. I've never hit a child in my entire life. And, and you shouldn't. Would. You shouldn't. I don't abuse animals. I don't abuse people. Alex is fucked up. He just it needs some love, Diane. That's what his grandfather said. He doesn't need therapy. He just loves, needs love. But he's been in two different places that have actually kicked him out of their places because they can't get anywhere with him. Well, he's, he's going to need to somebody to get to him. He needs okay. to know that he's fucking love. That's what kids need, Diane. You don't think he knows that? Oh, sure. I don't know. Sometimes you talk so bad about him. I'm just wondering. <laughs> Diane, you, are, you <laughs> haven't even been around. You are the one that told me that you knew you made a mistake 15 minutes after you picked him up. Well, fuck no shit. Anybody would. The foster family didn't want to adopt him. They didn't even contact him. They couldn't wait to get him out of their house. That's why they didn't tell us about his behaviors. He's Nobody had to say him. He's a child. He can access full on the mental chart, darling. Well, he's been through a lot. Can you blame him? I'm not blaming him, but I can blame his mother. Well, of and course. His father. And that's why he's not with the pieces of shit anymore. He needs somebody that's going to love him unconditionally and not treat yes. him like he's a mental case. He needs to be treated like a normal child. See, again, you're insinuating that I treat him like he's a mental case. Well, I mean, because you're just telling me that he's uh, mentally challenged, not mentally challenged, but he he's crazy. He is. He's like special ed. He's the new special ed. Well, he seems well, pretty fucking well, smart to me when I talk to him. He's high IQ. He does. But it's neither here nor there. No. I wasn't a big data against a foster family. You didn't know the foster family. family. Yeah, by the time we got him, I did know the foster family. She really reminded me of my relatives. And you're going to be here this weekend. Can I come oh, over and see her? her? What, what, what do me and the babies do wrong? I didn't say you and the babies did anything wrong. Then what's the problem with me being able to come and see her? But I can't single somebody out when everybody's collectively together. You know, every email that's ever been emailed to me. Well, it's, all it's ever, well, I don't read any of them. Have you noticed? Every I don't check I any of them when anybody sends me. I don't really me. care. I don't really care who's reading what. I just know what's going on is wrong. And this is wrong. Ready? This whole situation is wrong, Diane. She's unhappy. She's unhappy as hell. No, she really is. She Diane, you know, well, I'm sure she room. smiles when she gets up and sees people, but Diane, she's unhappy, you can tell. If she was happy when the last caretaking plan was under place? I've never really seen okay, her in the last see. Let's see. Let me go back to the weekend prior to her birthday weekend. That was the weekend before she got taken out of this house. Tom was on drugs for his yeah, and we weren't allowed in here hardly. No, 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 David was living in this house. Yeah, I'm saying we weren't hardly allowed they in here because stayed, nobody was talking to him. He stayed in that room. He stayed in that room with my mother all day Saturday, all Saturday night, and all day Sunday. And that's why Tom was gone. And nobody checked on her once. Yeah, we're trying to get rid of Tom long David was that. living here. And why didn't anybody check on an elderly woman if they cared so much? Oh, wait, Come David on. was living here. David is responsible. That beast. David is responsible. David Shit. was here. 
don't you get that we love her? Why do you all think we time. do all? Yes, we love her unconditionally all the time, Diane. And why can't you make an exception to let me come over and see her? I've done nothing wrong. If anybody's pissed you off, then that's fine. You take that's it out fine. on them. I, I don't care about any of them. Well, that's then what's why the I'm problem? Wrong. I don't come over here and yell at her. I come over here and tell her she's beautiful, and I talk to her, and we play with baby. I bring the babies to see her. What's the problem with that? There is no problem, so what's the problem with just waiting a week? And because, Diane, week? I didn't get to see her for almost two weeks when I had the flu. That's time I can't make up, and I don't want to lose more days with her just because people have pissed you off, Diane. That's not fair to her. Has anything to do with me being pissed off? It has to do with trying to keep a caretaker in place without people running with their Am I gonna, Have I ever been mean to Leslie once? I don't do that. But I'm not going to come in here and scream and throw tantrums and fight in front of Grandma. The only time I'd ever done that was when you were shoving on me when I had my baby in my arms, Diane. You came in there. I was shoving on you. I slapped your face, I think. I was no, you wouldn't have slapped my were, face. I'd have killed you. You were, you were shoving me like this. This is what you were doing to me. It wasn't fake crying. Don't you get we were upset? Don't you get that we were upset over what was happening to her? on and off like a faucet. Don't you get that we were upset over what was happening to her? on and off like a faucet. Damn, you went from crying I give a so shit. often, like, not even like normal. Because just thinking about the situation she's in and what she's been through makes me fucking hurt, Diane. Don't you get that? She wants her fucking family here to see her. Let me and the babies come and see her on she's the weekend. Been for how many years? And now? I've been seeing her every fucking day. And do you really think I would allow her to go to the ranch when I know y'all want her dead? Just like with Travis. We now. want her dead, Diane. We love her. Her voice down. See, you can't even hold your voice because down. you're telling me we want her dead. Are you crazy? I know exactly the plan. I know exactly what you think we want her dead. Have I am Sherry or living where? I'm not stupid. What, our plan. Are you serious? Why would we have deeded an acre of property to her and have her move here if we wanted her dead? Why would we be feeding her? You Why would we fight for what she wants if we want her dead? Do you understand how crazy that sounds? We didn't even want her dead. That was Dad's idea. Him and Mom planned on taking care of her, Diane. That's not even true. That is true. I know. I live it. Otherwise, how would you know, Diane? He would you were gone Otherwise, for over ten years. For yes, what? Show out on the drama because this is before I was gone. I'm being serious. This is when we were building their house because why? Because they trusted and then what us. Happened to why you? did I pack up all of their shit if they didn't go after trust that. me? Where did you go Do after that? You realize that? that Susan acts like they paid for my house. Diane, what they paid That's for because my house? Check, check, check that she has. Oh bullshit. Why? There's, a, there's more to the checkbook. The twenty thousand dollars was written right back to them four months later. Oh, all Susan wanted was proof right of that, she said. Oh, boy. Oh, she's got the proof. Y'all have all of the paperwork. You understand? Know, all they had to do was go to April, right after my dog fucking died. They got their money back. We were looking for a house. We hadn't sold our house in the Woodlands. You have to have money in a bank account before you can buy a house. That was a temporary loan that was paid back. EF Hale, $20,000. I mean, do, do you really, in your fucking mind, do you really think we want to hurt her? Seriously? I bet on it. I bet on That's sick. <laughs> it's really sick. Yeah, that is to, sick, Diane. We love her. It's really sick. And you do realize that your dad bragged about the fact that y'all took care of Travis Self and made it sound like he was in that house over there. Otherwise, it really would have been weird. Well, Papa was though. never in our house. But and we did take care of Papa. Like Do you know that his kids didn't even show up to his 95th birthday party? They didn't show up to his birthday. Guess who he was, was with for Christmas? Told, he hung out with us for told, Christmas, Diane, because his family are pieces of shit. I was told that y'all ran off. Well, it kind of sounds like it from what I've heard, because... They live in the house for free for how many years now? Who? Who are you talking about? Sherry and Heather. How many years had they lived uh, in the house? Sherry hadn't been Heather in that house that long. Time. And Callie was I living there taking care of Papa because his own children wouldn't do it. Week. For a thousand dollars a week. His own children wouldn't for do $1, shit. $1, she didn't make a thousand dollars a week. Where the hell do you get that? Said? No, she didn't make a thousand dollars a week. That's insane. That's what your dad told well, me. Well, that's not what, well, no. Archie heard him wrong. No. And you're crazy if you think, think so. we want her hurt in any way. 
I've got your dad on recording talking about both of my parents like they're pieces of shit. That's bullshit, Diane. He's never once spoke to them bad. How he loves he, them. How does he do my dad's voice? He sounds kind of like a black dude. That's how Grandpa used to talk, Diane. Don't you get Dad came over here every day and had coffee with him in the morning. Yeah, I was wondering why my dad would kiss his hands. I thought, we would bring kissing the, his hands? You think Dad said, here, oh, kiss my hands? No. Uh, well, he I kissed his hands really because he me. loved him. No, bullshit. Bullshit, no, Diane. I cried every time he saw my mother. I think it's obvious now what went on. I think my dad knew he fucked my mother over. Royal. That's what happened. No, he did not. He loved her. We all do. But he also. Why won't you get that through your head? Why can't you get it through your head? Do we love her? We want to work with you to make her happy. Y'all get it through your head that loaning somebody money when somebody's 83 years old for a 30-year note will never be good to anybody. Go to a bank and ask. They've already made so much interest of it. They were making 1% interest with it in that CD. I know. Check this out. They owe her $140,000. And they don't you 100. get in fifty in two thousand and don't you understand? So she's already made over fifty grand just in interest. It would have been sitting in a bank making nothing, and they only got hundred and fifty. Grandpa How told you them now? not to even pay it back. Hold Dad on. still pays you, it back you, because Grandma said, wants it. What you just said makes no sense whatsoever. You said she's made fifty thousand dollars. They Off of interest. They owe her interest. And forty grand. Interest. They only bought, borrowed a hundred and fifty. Interest, that makes Diane. Sense. They've been paying that the interest. Sense. It that doesn't make sense. sense. You need to go and have an accountant and explain to you really. how the fuck it goes. Really. Obviously, I don't because you're not getting the point. Forty thousand dollars is owed to somebody, and they borrowed. Don't you get the interest part? They've already done loans like this with them, and they've paid it all yeah, back. That's all the loans. Ricky Carswell's had loans. Yes, thank you. My dad yes, was and the you're damn straight them. because Grandpa was making interest on it. Have you ever paid Grandpa back with interest? Every time I ever borrowed money from them. Uh, I thought you, you told me just a couple weeks ago you've never borrowed money from your parents. No, 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 I didn't say that. Oh, then Archie did. One of y'all told me no, that you no, never no. borrowed he anything. Said we never, we never not paid back. They loaned us $4,800 for our first home in the Woodlands. Good girl. Come on. Easy. I got a fresh picked orange. Where's mine? How good. Look what I got. Right off the tree. Oh, wow. Huh? I got an orange right off the tree, Mom. You want to try it? Want to eat some with me? Oh, I got buddies that's got orange trees everywhere. Uh, Weechu's got a whole fucking crop of them in his backyard. Yeah, it was. Hey, easy. Easy. Come on up here. Come on. No, no, baby, right here. Come up here and be easy. This is your home. Stay right there and be easy. Oh, she's happy to see her mama. You want to sit up so you can eat this? You want to try some? I'm good. Want to try some orange? Right off the tree. Can't beat it. Good, huh, Mom? Calm down. Baby, be easy. It's okay, sweetheart. Hey. Just be easy. We're way down in the valley, and we bought a box of grapefruits from this man. But the best one was the one Archie stalled off his ground. Another one? Oh, it was delicious. Mom, want some more? Yeah, you do. Don't tell me that shit. I know yeah, you do. Yeah. What kind of orange is that orange? I don't know. Soft, soft, soft peel. Very good. Oh, yeah. Like a Almost like a tangerine with no seeds. Yeah. It's almost like a clementine. 
but bigger. So, Tom, what's the name of the meat flesh? God damn, you know I got over there I forgot. That's okay. The big cow. You can't miss it. Are you going today? No. I'll try to go, uh, when you, when you come in, just go by on the way in. Shut Here. Up. One more. I'll eat one of you well. Here. I'm not forcing you. I'm going to throw this out for the compost. Uh, B&W, Diane, I'm pretty sure it's B&W. You out of school? You out of school? For high Christmas? Yeah. Really? You doing good this year? You on the golf team? Really okay. Golf team? Nah. Why? Tired of that shit, huh? Nah, I got kicked out. Oh, you got kicked out of the golf team? Wow. And that's your Somers. Somers? I think they're like a buck. Yeah. yeah. I need to get a bunch. A bunch? Okay. I'll talk to some people today. Yeah. Let's make it uh, Friday. I leave here at one. Friday at one. I can go to the nearest bank. I get a hundred. I'll let you know. Okay. Cool. Look at this. Tell me that dog doesn't love you, Mom. Is she hurting you? you She's not hurting you. Belly. She's not hurting you, is she? It's hard to keep her off of Mom. Mom and her got a special relationship. Yeah. She loves this baby girl like the baby girl loves her mama. If you love mom, I know you do. I know you do. You just need to. Oh, I know. She she keeps she keeps on she keeps rolling. I'm not sure where she don't she keeps rolling. She kind of takes you know you saw see how I put that heat lamp in the in the thing in there. Yeah, and checked on me too. Hey, she checked on everybody. She, if she was a cop, we'd all be in jail. Hey, but I, 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 you know you can't put that other thing back up in the light with that bulb in there, but it's warmer for her, and I don't like mom. I don't want her being cold. Yeah, to be honest with you, I would never have to have another one because it's just too hard on her. What? When she gets out, she's so what? cold. Showers. Oh, it's They're okay. She so need, what, are you going to put her in a bath? Well, they do bed baths. Right here. We put her in this tub. Never get her out. Bullshit. You never get her? Shit. I'll get her out of there. Trust me. Y'all put her in there. I'll put her in there. I'll get her out of there. Jennifer pick her up like she's a sack of potato. Yeah, Jennifer will mess her back up if she continues. You think Jennifer will hurt her, her back? Oh, yeah. Jennifer. Well, we don't want that to happen. She's got those kids. screw her back up. But she's tough. But Jennifer's pretty, she's a pretty tough girl, Jennifer is. She's a tough girl, Jen. She needs to have that. But no, uh, this is the last one. Look at this in the light. Okay. I mean, I, I only waste my money on summers because I can get that for free. Oh, you do? Okay. I know this person does the same thing you do. Oh, what do you she think about that? She gets it for the same price you do. No? How much? Get for less than that. That's what I saw him for. <laughs> yeah, well, if she needs some good shit, let her know. I already did. Uh, no. Cool. She probably knows people I know. Maybe. So. Never know. All right, y'all. I'm going to go try and take care of some business. Well, thanks, Tom. No problem. I'm going to get one of my jackets out of here. You want those tamales? I'm about to do something. Yeah, I'll take them. She goes, you need to do the grocery shopping. <laughs> yeah. She said, you haven't asked mom, you hadn't asked your mom for one thing that she did already, that she didn't say, yeah, she wanted. <laughs> I said, well, you know, I bet, well, she wanted some dirty rice, she wanted um, yeah. this and that, and, you know, I mean, I know what mom likes. If you can't get her to eat anything, she eats some fried chicken. If you can't get her to eat nothing else, hey, if you can't get my mom to eat nothing else, she'll eat some fried chicken, huh? You doing okay? I like that smile. I'm tired. Why? Why are you so tired? Well, you need to get your rest in. Hey. Get your rest in. I don't want to keep you awake, okay? I love you. I know you do. We all love you. Everybody wants the best for you. You know that. Okay? But your little dog wants to be with you. It's not me and me, because if you're staying over there at Jane's house, she really wouldn't want to be away from you. There's something going on. That's why there's something going on over here. 
catch up, buddy. You might call for me while I was on. I got my, my fireproof jacket in case I run into a burnt building. That was mine. Oh, I got okay. it the other day. Yeah, it's a new sweatshirt. Y'all yeah. clean this drawer out? Cause I don't know if I did. Good, good. Thank you. Fucking bunch of homegrown. Yeah. Shit, what's up? That fucking that tree. Last year I had a fucking tree out here. That big, long, right outside that window. Oh, uh, wasn't it big? Wasn't it pretty? Pardon? Wasn't that pretty one that was outside the door? Well, anyway, I'll be back to check on her in a minute. I'm just, you know, the only fucking watch that made it through the whole fucking bullshit was this little cheap motherfucker I gave when I first went to work for the railroad. Look at this. Come look at this. Wow. Look at this. I got this when I first went to work for the railroad, and I gave it to Mom and Dad. So oh, cool. That's neat. And they, uh, they kept it the whole fucking time. It keeps perfect time. Well, yeah. It was in that little thing in the clock in there. But look, see, hey, it was in here. It was in this thing right here. Hanging right up in here. Yeah. I told mom, I said, you don't mind me getting this, do you? She said, no. no you can have it back. You can have it back. I mean, I ain't taking nothing without her asking. That's why I didn't even want to move any of my shit out of here without somebody being here. But I ain't taking nothing. Uh, yeah, we'll get, I'll get rid of all of it. I got room over there. I just don't know where I'm going yet. Oh, I need to go. I got to wait on a phone call. Be, I'm going to tell you the name of that. I'm going to find out right now. I'll be right back. To be exact. Hey, big guy. Okay, I'm telling you, you're contradicting yourself. I remember oh, the no, conversation. No, 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 I never had that conversation. But have I come over here any... Hold on! Everybody knows that they loaned us money, because that's why we fucking got married, chick. But they wouldn't loan us money unless we got married, unless it was a marriage document. It's nothing to Why fucking Why can't hide. I come in here and see her? What because is the problem? Mouth. Am I mean to her? I'm I doing this because we're in a heated conversation, right? Because I know I'm saying you're trying to tell me I can't come and see her and I've done nothing wrong. You're not seeing light up when me and the boys come over? She wants to see us, Diane. She wants to see us. Do you just I not know. care? I know. What she's, I know what's going on, and I know what's going on with everybody else, and it's all a joke, because if it was about her, nobody would be talking like that in front of Diane, her. Diane, it's Here, all yeah. been about her. Why do you think we've done anything we've done before? Trying to save her, trying to get her out of these motherfuckers' grasp, but that's why. They were killing her. They were fucking killing her. Do you know when she went to Cypher Hospital? Do you know her bowels were so clogged they thought she had cancer? She, she was malnourished. Her potassium was 2.8. I've got the medical records. It took me two hours to get them from the woman at the hospital. I've got the medical records. You should put that energy a long time ago into other things because check it out. If this house wouldn't look like a fucking shitty frat house. We didn't live here, Diane. But you lived right next door, and my parents we weren't even a lot. Once you started coming back in town, Tom locked us out of the oh, house. We couldn't crap. even get in here. It's that's not bullshit. crap. That's bullshit. He would flip out every time that's we came, bullshit. and we didn't want her actually, having to go through actually, it. Actually, I saw your mother pick a fight with him one morning. Well, maybe, when he was all fucked up on drugs and being a piece of shit. That's no, a good possibility. Dog either. Tom's been doing drugs since I was 19. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm 50. And when he gets real fucked up and he's steaming for me, he acts like an ass. 
But he is an ass. Okay, well, and Brian, if he's such an ass, why would you want him to go drop in here and take care of Grandma? Because I thought he would get his shit together and he could stay here at night. You even told me you knew that wouldn't happen. No. Yes, Diane, I told you. I said, well, Diane, if he could get his shit together, and you said, do you really think he's going to get his shit together? That was our conversation we had. But what does that have to do with what I just said? I said I was hoping he would have his shit together enough where he could live here and sleep here at night so somebody wouldn't have to spend the night here. But, Diane, you know that's not going to happen. But three. you're going to tell Tom, you, you want him to come back in. But me, me, who doesn't do I drugs, never, and I couldn't come over here and watch never, her and love her. I never and talk, talk to her and, and help her exercise. And, and if Tom's not careful, Tom's going to get a restraining order against him is what Tom's okay, going to do. Okay, but I can't, can I come and see her tomorrow need and do a puzzle with, with her? I'm upsetting her. Okay, I'm, well, I'm coming here. and upsetting her. Well, I'm here. You can come here tomorrow and you can do a puzzle okay, with her. Okay, and can I come and meet the caretaker? Can I come and meet the caretaker with you? You know I'm not going to be mean to her. My cannot do a puzzle. That's why I want to work with her. I want to help her do one. It will probably be frustrating. Well, I'm going to get some with big pieces. I won't bring a puzzle yet. We need to get her strength back up, Diane, while she's sitting there on the chair. The doctor to said to get her legs we and do this. I do that. Wait. I go this way, back and forth. Yeah. I do this. Wait, but she I needs haven't seen any pants. She needs it. to come over here and do this. You know? She needs who's doing things with her to do things with oh, her. Exactly. So Leslie yeah. needs to keep on doing it. We need she to get her strength back up. Do you, do you know what Leslie does in the morning with her? Have you ever watched? Has anybody ever been around here fucking long enough to watch what goes yeah, on? Yeah, I come over here and I see Leslie with her all the time. You see her bend her legs every morning. Every morning she pulls the covers back. She works with her. She has her sit up in the bed. She does her back. She does her shoulders. So can I come and meet the caretaker tomorrow? Frail. Can I? I, I, I know that, man. That you can, but now I'm going to start to wonder because your aggression towards okay. it. I don't understand. That's because I don't, I don't like being told that I can't come see her. Why you have to be so aggressive and adamant? Because uh, how could because you tell her that I can't come see the grandmother? I know that. That's why but I want to be here every day to see her. On. You, can, you can fluff it up all you want, but I really know the reality. But what are you talking about? Explain to me. Let me let, let yeah. go out on the front porch like and let me get a cigarette. Christmas. And I want you to explain like to me Christmas. how you're even thinking this like way that we'd want to hurt her in any way. Christmas. Let she me grab my cigarette. She doesn't spend about manipulating her, Diane. There are things she wants to do. Too much whispering in her ears for me, darling. Way too mm -hmm. much Pete whispers to her, Tom whispers to her. Your dad doesn't do anything but give her a hard time from what I've seen. Legend he doesn't Oaks give her a hard joke. time, Dad. Oh, loves God. Her. Legend Oaks, he was a joke and a half. He, he loves, loves her, Diane. Nurse. She says she wants to die every time you come around. He's screaming it. And then he leans down and he whispers something in an 87-year-old woman's ear. Yeah, I'm probably I telling her that he loves her. Saying she's lazy. She's 87 and she's lazy. But then she acts lazy sometimes. She's 87. When she doesn't say well, I know. No, that's not the she, same. You, Listen, know that, you know that once somebody You should know her. Down she's down your mother, so you should know as well as I do, okay? When you've got therapists coming over here, she's, never been a bitch she's not a bitch to me. Now, she might get snappy when she doesn't want to do certain she's things. She's never even been snappy to me. <laughs> it's stuff she needs to do. When the therapist comes and she doesn't want to get up and do her therapy. It goes like this. And I'm talking after, about not just now, a couple years ago. After my grandfather's funeral. Tom and David had a fight. David hit Tom in the eye, I think. I don't really remember. I think it was his eye. My dad was taking Tom to the hospital. And my mother was in her closet. She would just buried her father. And she was in her closet doing something. I don't remember what she was doing. And I went in and I sat down on the floor with her. And David, to this day, might, he'll, he'll change it, I'm sure. But he told me once after that, that he just could never get on the floor with her. And I thought, I can. But now see, do you see how you get teary eyed about that? It doesn't make you teary eyed that she's miserable, that she's, she's not, not happy. Miserable. She wants to go do things. Have you ever asked her, let's get your strength up so we can go gambling and see her face light up? That's what she wants because to do. Because she's addicted to it. Well, th Diane, she's her final gear. Yeah, she can. Y'all shoot it when she was healthier. She did. She went all the damn time when she with was healthy. Mom? No, with mom. Yes. I can count on my Ma No, you can't, Diane. Where were you? Me. 
You weren't here. Well, How do you know? Since I came back. Uh, since I you came know. back, everything's should, been crazy. Don't should. you get that? Yeah, I made it crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Y'all can blame me because I don't care. When you this came back, I can be your scapegoat. I can be your scapegoat. I'm going to have fucking therapy where I can be y'all's fucking scapegoat. I don't Do you understand? I'm trying to explain to you. It's not about Diane. It is about her. It's not about me. I don't want her no money. I don't want her no money. I don't want anything from her. Her. I just she want her, her to be in this fucking house because that's what we want. Her and my dad wanted to be. Both of them have said to me they wish they would have never left Jennings. Do you think that has anything to do with that? They've Diana? never said anything like that to any really? of us, Diane. Well, why would they? Why would they say it to you? Uh, that be a little weird. Uh, no. Well, I mean, well, if that was, you know what? They've twice. never been scared to tell us anything, Diane. Ever. My father said to me that they wished. And mom never took left grandma tennis. gambling all the time. You weren't around. How can you say that you can I count? Know. I know your mother. And I know my mother. And I know their relationship. Well, you obviously don't. Because mom's done cooked their meals for them and everything for the she past years when you've been gone. Last she January. said that she was doing that with Tom. Do you know why? That's because her doctor told her not to come over here because she was getting sick That's from it. That's what my doctor told me 13 years ago was to stay the fuck away from those people. Well, you know, my well, mom still doesn't stay around. away even though that's what they're they told her. toxic people. No shit. And the court and everybody involved with the court now knows, hey, Brody. So what, you think the judge is just crazy and just thinks we're all complete psychos and that... I don't really know the judge. I only <clears throat> dealt with the judge in the court. I deal with my attorney. Well, I mean, you already said the judge doesn't give a shit about anybody doing drugs, you know, so I, I mean... I didn't say that. That's what you told but me when I, I walked in here. I said, no, I said that I, that I don't think she'll care that I smoke weed. I really don't. Um, I don't think it's here nor there, and I've never purchased drugs from Tom. In my whole life, I laid there last night and I thought about him recording Archie last weekend because we both knew that's what went on because we're smart and we do have... Oh, well, they sense. said they've got you on tape talking about how high it got I you and I about how not letting Alex walk into the garage or some shit. I've never purchased any drugs from my brother Tom. In my entire life, I've never purchased drugs from Tom. Myself. Ever. Never. You just smoke with him. Like you do. I don't smoke with Tom. Oh, spare me. I don't think it really matters in the scope of things. Because this isn't about Diane, and it's not about Archie, and it's not about Tom, and it's not no, about No, it's Jennifer. about Grandma, and we need to all get along and try to get her happy. You don't think that you think that's going to happen? We're going to get along? Well, Have Diane, you read those emails? Why? Because Have you, you start sending emails? these bitchy I, emails I, to people, and that just sets them off. Bitchy. Like the whole thing about getting the house clean, happy cleaning. I mean, just that kind of shit, Diane. When you send shit that's fucking rude, happy how do you expect clean. them to? Do you know what I've done? Every fucking visit I've come to this motherfucking house, darling. You but know what you I've done up. every fucking okay, time you come over here. And you say that we didn't even I've clean the house. You know, we because my parents, parents were house. living in. Do not. Oh. Don't scream in my fucking face. We're done. Hey, do not. Baby, come. Huh. Listen to me. Diane. Good girl. No. I don't know why you're screaming at me. I'm done. Because you're ridiculous. I'm just trying to tell now you. you're talking about oh, half all the things. I'm, I'm just saying. She I had a fucking boatload of people that were coming here. It's like they were going to have a party. Diane. You see how clean they got? Um, yes. It was yes, clean. Yes, it was all clean as shit. They Bullshit. did the carpets, toilets, Bullshit. everything. Bullshit. I came over here. Susan was on her hands and knees dirty. scrubbing the and toilet. That's how filthy it is. Well, you got, got somebody living here to clean it. Like getting up and yelling in my face isn't a smart move. That's just retarded. I'm here trying to talk to you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm not screaming no, at you. I'm trying to fucking make you realize that she's unhappy and we need to fix well, it, you Diane. Can say that, but I have bald-faced asked her if she wanted she... you to be her caretaker, and she said no. Okay, and when I asked her if the babies were really too loud, do you know what she told me? I told her, I said, Grandma, is Sometimes it... Sometimes she doesn't even know you have babies. Okay, so Diane, then how do you know anything she's babies. telling you is the truth? You haven't been around in so I'm long, and how can you come her. in and pretend because like you know what she I wants? I am probably closer to her than anybody I else am. in this family. If you were that close to her, where were you? I What's the real reason? Why were you gone? to Louisiana. Tell me why you were gone. You know, why did you stay gone? I thought she... 
I thought she made the card into a frame. I don't know what you're talking about. The white trash card, the trailer trash card that pissed my father off so bad. And he told me not to send, and I said, yeah, right, I'm not going to send her. And that was your reason for not coming for that long? Definitely. And y'all have proven to everybody why I wouldn't come around this crap. Well, then, I mean, why didn't you just even, say that? Why did you blame that, it on a duck? I don't even see why. Because that's what, that was the start of the fight with the duck. That was the start of the fight. That wasn't the end of it. I never. You didn't mention price. that in court. And I didn't. And I didn't admit on the stand that I bought five pounds of weed. And I didn't say that I wouldn't take a drug test. And I know all of y'all's games. I don't even know what but you're talking me. about. It's in hiding. And I've got Susan in. I don't even know what you're talking about with the drug test, test, Diane. I have no idea what you're I even don't talking you about. Take a drug test. It's on your Facebook page. What have y'all gotten from that? What has my mother gotten out of this Facebook page? Diane, we're trying to find people to got, help her get her out of the custody of the courts while they were killing her. Y'all started that. Do you know? No, Diane, we didn't realize that. that. By acting like you didn't receive your mail, that's why this all went on. Diane, this started because instead of coming to us like a family member, no, 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 you no. had to hide it and be I'm sneaky and go behind everybody's anything. back. I didn't hide anything. I asked Tom four times before I ever Did you talk to the rest of the family? family? Why would I? Because they're your family, I Diane. I dumped my children off at my parents' house to babysit in Louisiana. They were retired. I wouldn't have done that to them. Do, do you think it's dumping them off? That's what grandparents do. They spend time with I their grandchildren. Yes, I it is. Are you? I mean, Diane, do you understand how asinine that sounds? I mean, Jesus, my parents begged for me to let them take the babies places and to leave them with them for the weekend. That's what grandparents do just because you hate children doesn't mean the rest of the world does. I hate children now. Well, I mean, I'm just saying you never wanted children just because you disliked children or didn't want children isn't, doesn't I mean that everybody else. I did horseback camp in almost every neighborhood I've ever lived with the kids, so... Okay, you didn't want you any want. of your own. Okay, like I'm, I'm supposed to know that horse riding want. camp. All I know are the facts that you were gone for forever, we didn't hear from you, and then you come back and a whole bunch of shit gets stirred up. Don't you understand? That's our problem. If you would have come in as a family and said, hey, we need to do this, this, and this, guess what? We would have welcomed you with open arms, Diane. Oh, that is so not true. That is so not true. Hey, how do you know that? You never tried. Agenda. We don't have a hidden agenda. Our I hidden agenda is I to keep her alive and to keep her happy. And that's why she stayed in bed for two full fucking days at but her age. When we weren't here. When she needs medication because y'all were scared of Tom. David was living here too, Diane. We well, weren't. We use David as an excuse. So that's supposed to make sense? See, now I wouldn't litter in my, in my mother's yard. I wouldn't do that. You know, I, I really wouldn't. I'd pick up all the cigarette butts, but I'd never fucking throw the cigarette butt in my mother's yard. What's the difference in throwing a cigarette butt and smoking a joint in the garage, Diane? I mean, come on. You're jumping on petty shit. Who cares? Cigarette I'm filters worried about are in the earth forever. Don't you get that? We're worried about her. Cigarette butts. The world is not your ashtray, I think is what the bumper sticker says. The world is not your ashtray. It's all about a game. No, it's, it's not a game, Diane. This is not a game. Her condition is not a game. She is sick. You She's been in the hospital so many times lately. Do you know how much food she ate that day? No. She's always eaten fine when we fed her, Diane. She always. She had great breakfast this morning. An excellent breakfast. And she woke up smiling because she slept her ass off because she was so exhausted. Just from going to a doctor's appointment. Okay, and y'all would have to her to go gamble. Diane, we want to get her strength up so then she'll be able to go. So why You've you never taken her. Why aren't y'all building her strength up? Will you let us take her if we can get her never. strength up? Okay. Never. I wouldn't even let y'all take her in a You know, car. you won't let us do anything, so how do you expect her to get better okay. when you don't even okay. care enough to let us help her? She's been here since the 12th. How much therapy have you done with her? Okay, and how many times has she been in the hospital since the 12th? And whose fault do you think that Do you is? realize when she had pneumonia, y'all were going to wait until after the holidays to have somebody come and assess her? Sick? If she wouldn't have, you we weren't y'all sick all then. Sick when y'all brought her over there at Christmas? No, we weren't all sick then. Okay, y'all got sick the day after Christmas or two days later? Like, do you know about it, the it was a, period? I mean, it, 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 Diane, I didn't even get sick till after New Year's. And see how loud you are? All she wants is quiet. 
That's all she wants. When I ask her if she just wants the supplies, she says, I'm used to a loud family, Diane. It's because you drill in her head. She just wants peace and quiet. She just wants peace and quiet. Because you're going to see that I'm not drilling anything into that woman's I don't know. I don't manipulate people, Jennifer. It's not my own. Why would you think everything's being recorded? Why do you think that? I know that by what's being said in the emails. Like what they say. I'm not going to get specific, but I'm not stupid. And I don't really care because I don't have anything to hide. I have nothing to hide. Well, I just want to be able to come and see her. Her bills are supposed to go right here for payment. But nobody ever pays attention to her bills. Nobody ever gives a shit about it. Why don't you call us and have us come get the, the bills, Diane? Well, we're here. If you're worried about a bill, why do you leave the light on all day and turn it off at night? How it's weird is that? It's a fucking bulb out there. It doesn't matter. Why have it on during the day? It's the night times when they're supposed it's to be on. Light. What's it matter? It's a fluorescent light that goes off. Because she needs any fucking money she, money she can get yeah. for her bills and shit. Because why? Why? Because you've got somebody here that you're paying to watch her when we would do it all for free. Yeah, well, that's why, you Diane. For free. Yes. Bullshit, Jennifer. No, that's not bullshit. bullshit. You do it for her house. No, I do it for free. You do know that everybody knows the MO, right? What do you mean everybody the MO? Knows. What are you talking about? The plan. What's the plan? It's for you to have this house. The court knows it. I don't know how they if, know it. If I was going to buy her house, yes. I don't plan on ever taking her house. How would you even do that? That's not even legal, Diane. Well, then how in, how in the fuck are Sherry and Heather living in Papa's house all this time, Jennifer? Uh, because uh, that's where oh, they were living I before uh, Papa died. Yeah, it is. Probably. Because it, because Papa's children are so goddamn it. selfish. They think they should get all the money when they didn't care for him at all. And I didn't His great grandchildren cared for him. What a POD was until recently when your dad was so adamant about death certificates. Your dad cares about my mother so fucking much that he turned on the table. Diane, that's when you were here, and that's because the death certificates disappeared. That's because they disappeared. He's the one that paid for them and ordered them. You're cute. With a hot check. It's a hot check. Big fucking deal. He didn't have money in the account. We probably spent it all before he fucking knew that I'm there was no money in there. Best advice I ever got from Diane, you don't seem to understand. We love her. All we want is for her to be happy and enjoy her she life. Is. She doesn't look like she's enjoying it, Diane. Y'all aren't around long enough to know what she's We've doing. always been around, Diane. Even when you disappeared for years, we were here. Your visit was 20 minutes long, the longest visit you've had here. What can you find out in 20 minutes? Diane, I had babies over there. I come over a couple times a day. But you can be my mother's caregiver. You're damn straight. If I was here, you're fucking damn straight I could. I'd do anything and everything she needed. See? Anything and everything. I'd make sure she was happy. You can't hold it together very long. Diane, because I love her and she's dying. She's dying in this situation and you don't seem to give a shit. Ten more years. Some people Not at the rate she's going now, Diane. She could. You're damn straight. If we could get her strength built up and get her doing some of the things she loves, she could live ten more years. Who's an excellent doctor. And then to the quack. Who said everything looks great. And why are you still taking her to the doctor that you say is a fucking moron? Because the other one is so far that it would kick her ass in the car just to You don't think we could find one closer? You want me to get on and find one closer that's not a quack? I've looked. I've looked. I'll find one. Her insurance sucks. Well, I'll find one. Give me her insurance information. I'll call them and I'll get a list of every doctor in this fucking area. Let's get her out of his fucking hands. Let's get her into some fucking doctor that knows what he's talking about. And let's keep her fucking alive, Diane. She's fine. She's not fine. Look at her. She's not fine. You can't see it in her face that she's miserable. She's lost all of her fucking will to live, Diane. She hasn't. She has to. He's still mourning. I don't understand why y'all can't get that. Because you know the doctor yesterday. Diana, she forgets that Grandpa's even gone, okay? She knows that she's mourning still. He she knows. knows. But he she's mourning. mourning her life right now because she doesn't like it. Oh, it's going to be 
made herself at home in Chad's kitchen and had a supper of cold sandwiches and canned soup waiting for them. Never guess. Pass the salt, please. Lee, you eat too much salt. Lois chuckled. Mm -hmm. You were quite unhappy when you were pregnant. Too much I salt is bad for a pregnant woman, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Shout out. I'll see you later, okay? I thought you were okay. going to get some rest. Give me a big kiss. Oh, I love you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you get some rest, okay? I said you just get some good rest, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll come back and see you later. I'll bring the babies by if you want, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me bring them by to see you later. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love you so much. Okay, you get some rest. I love you. I'm gorgeous. <laughs> Did it have anything to do with Chad's strange expression when the topic of pregnancy came up? No. The Jacksons left as soon as Lois and Lee had cleared up the situation. But she felt there was an invisible barrier between them, a restraint that had never been there. Tom taking the key, he thinks he's so cool. That's just what do you mean? Smiths are coming today to change all the locks, so it really doesn't matter. I thought y'all just changed locks. They're all getting changed again because Tom took the key out of the front door when he was trying to distract me yesterday. Tom took a key from the front door. I'm sure you know about it. What? Why would I know about a key? And why do I care? It's just like the recording. It's all the same. Diane, it's not all the same. We all love her and you don't seem to get that. I get it all. I am getting it all. Trust me. It's loud and it's clear. Okay, I'm going to come back tomorrow and work with me. I'll bring some cans. Let's get her lift and let's get her strength up. If we can get her strength up, I'll go with you. We'll take her gambling and you can see Diane. I've been gambling with her before. Okay, but if I can get her strength up, will you go with me? It's so One day interesting we'll take her. that y'all talk about how she's penniless. And then in the other side, we'll pay for her to go gambling, gambling because she loves you. Oh, and fucking money. Uh, Diane, that's, I'm not talking about coming out of any money that Dad owes her. Well, you owe her money, too. I don't owe her any money. What are you talking about? $300 a month was going into her account. I've never paid Grandma $300 a month for anything. So we had that rack with State Farm. Diane, I've already told you. I don't know what you're talking about. It's got your address on it. Somebody must have got your identity sued. No, they might have, but I've never been sued must by anybody. Mom, you know, her coming up on my mom's stuff. And have you ever, have you ever really looked? Somebody took Diane, her. the only money I ever borrowed from her was $500 to build a bird cage, and we paid that back, me and my roommate. And that was... Your husband's brother that, that, that did it. I remember it was hurt one time, and you came over crying because poor so and so needed that bill paid for, and my dad gave you money then. It was either nine or thirteen. Oh, you're dad, talking about for whiskey. Your dad said it. Grandpa, was nine. your dad said it was nine thousand. Tom said it was twelve or thirteen. Your dad. Grandpa, your dad. Grandpa, said Grandpa gave me two hundred dollars to help me get a cat scan and shit on my dog. Your dad said you borrowed $9,000. No, Maybe my dad didn't, because I've never borrowed $9,000 from Grandpa. I'm and how would a dog cost... Well, I mean, you've got to be, because I don't know where you right, came up with I'm that. Dead. Dead. I've never borrowed any money from them, except for the money to do the birdhouse, and I paid that back. The money for whiskey, when he gave me $200 to throw in on me paying for her cat skin and shit when she had cancer, Grandpa didn't want me to pay that back. That was $200. I know that my parents were reusing dental floss when I first came in there. That's only if Grandpa wanted to. Don't you get right. Grandpa had a tooth right. too, Diane? Right. He never wanted to wear it. He had one. Did you ever have a dentist in Texas? Well, I'm sure he got his tooth done, didn't he? No, they went to Mexico, I was told to do it. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Uh, if they wanted to go to a dentist, then yes, they did. My mother was so anal about her teeth. Diane, anything they wanted, they got. It showed. Well, you weren't here, it. Diane. How I do you know? I showed up. It was here. It was evident. We didn't plan on having any children for a while. She was What's on what? I took all their furniture. Oh, uh, I don't know what terrifying. you're talking about with the furniture. She was no more responsible than a child herself. He raked a hand through his hair. Lee longed to reach up and pat it back into place, but she remained still. Anyway, when she found out she was pregnant, she panicked. That may have contributed to her suicide. He sighed. I don't know. 
Were you angry with her? I mean, afterward, when it was all over. Were you angry that she had robbed you of your child? His eyes drilled into hers. How did you know? I was mad as hell. I knew I was supposed to grieve, but I was so angry I couldn't. Now she did touch him, reaching up to smooth his brows. I felt the same way when Greg was killed. I kept asking how he could do that to me. I guess those are human reactions. Nothing to be proud of, but extremely human. I just underwent another such reaction. When you told me that Sharon had been carrying your child, I knew envy for the first time in my life. He hugged her to him. My lead. Sharon getting pregnant was an accident of nature. When you and I make babies, it was a celebration of what that love we had. Are you reading it? No, she you're reading it. it. I, I thought you were Thanks reading it as it was reading, you know. Now, by your grandparents' attention, and I'd be awaiting it. This gives you a good visual of all that stuff. You don't need to see it. Danielle Steele? You may count on both. Uh, Danielle Steele? Who whispered in your This one is the other one. Um, Chapter 10. Or something. Christmas Chad Day was boisterous and happy. Chad picked up Lee and Sarah and drove them to the Dillon's ranch and at Lee's car to accommodate uh, the presence heaped in the back seat. Uh, Sandra Brown's pretty good. Uh, uh, Amelia Dillon had gone all out in preparation for the day. The antique sideboard in the dining room was laden with date nut bread, biscuits stuffed with tiny sausages and cheese myriad cookies, and other delectables to tide the guests over until the turkey Hello. feast was ready. The desserts were lined up across the back of the sideboard. I was able to resist. I thought you were saying hello to a dog. Oh, Brody's big ass. A piece of a tall coconut layer cake. Upon their arrival, the Jacksons complimented Lee and Chad That's on the tree they had decorated. You can't Lois was see. less impressed with the ranch house than she had been with Chad's. Chad's. But she treated the Dillons with polite I deference. The Dillons were 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 she refused to acknowledge that Mr. Dillon walked with a pronounced limp on his left leg. Lee found him sitting alone in the living room, but well, you tell me she's just about to be. Seriously? Stuart, you shouldn't be if you never got to talk about your with your husband's death. He and Amelia had both been sitting there. You really think that's what? Even though she forgets about it. You're a dear lady, Lee. I do. He said, and we'll limit his eyes to hers as she leaned over him. I mean, you can't see me. It's constantly that nobody likes her. I'm I'm you know we love her, don't you? She sat down beside him. How long has it been? About five years. I was close Coming. to retiring anyway. Yeah, sure, I didn't be forced to her. I know, I know she looked toward the kitchen and her laughter told her everyone else was she enjoying Sarah's antics. I know, but I'm not going to say that you can't see her. We all love her. She had never been able to talk with Dad about why I'm well control. Yes, I know, she wanted to show me how bad it was in a tough place. It was like we need to get her starting to love and get her doing things she loves. Being unable like, to keep her. So but can you at least like when you talk to her and tell her this is George unreasonable George to try to say I can't come over here? I'm never rude or mean to her, y'all. And if I ever am, I'm sorry. I'm an accountant's office. She just wants her to have as little as possible. Or doctors or lawyers or engineers. Okay. And how many of us? Yeah, but I never come over here and cause her any stress. I guess that kind of uniqueness no. gives a man no. a sense of pride. Not stress. Maybe that's okay. part of the reason but I loved it and why Chad does now. When Were you ever afraid of the day? Loud talking. Well, he was so down for me. I listen. I didn't go all the time. I don't understand. When, when, when Tom comes in here, I want to ask, but do I ever do that? Do I ever come in here screaming? Never mind. Can you tell her? No. I can't say I was ever afraid. Don't hit me wrong. I was always careful. We're trained to be careful. There's no reason that isn't planned. Okay. Synchronized. I can't. I don't know. You're saying everything you think. It looks like there's something about pace and that. But maybe she's getting better with the music. Lee thought his death was nicer in a gesture reminding her of Chad. I know she wants to get out and do things. Yes. We've got to get her strength up. That's it. We've got to get her strength up, which means she's got to eat. In order to want to eat, even with that case, she has to keep making her shit, okay? She had the biggest shit today. He saw it all in the back. It was a solid collection. When your eyes glow, you glow at the sight of that potty. As much as I wanted to, he realized that somebody's here and I go ahead and do it Sad every time she gets into the sweats, she slumps down, oh, and her blood pressure shoots high in the sky. Point. It can kill you. Hey, you two, you're I'm not, not going to let it happen anymore, Sarah. okay? I put her on the side, and I saw her, and I put the Vaseline down there, and it helps it come out naturally. She's not shitting in a smash. Stuart started slapping his hands against the 
was surprised as he stood up with an ease like that started with me. And when one thing Come I said on, here, and I thought you said you were on the internet as a heavy friend, I'm not a dumbass. He extended she's his hand to help her on one day he gets on the internet like what? Then escorted her to Chad, who was staring at her from the archway leading into the hall. Except that he was staring my words. Cut her thick slice, Dad, and that's the way it's free. I don't want to see you drop. There's not more drugs. I don't take them to ask you to go to bed, and they're legal. Not illegal. You know? Chad said gently. To each I don't know what it was for you to do or to do. That's just business, okay? See, I don't know anything about that. The only thing I heard is that they were recording you trying to find out how it sounds. Into the face that bespoke great strength. Never had and never going to. And that you sell Laura, Laura something for $4 a piece. She wraps her arms around you and pressed her cheek against his heart. Um, okay. I just said they told me I haven't heard it. And this is coming from the person that we trust the most. Yes. Yes. Dear, let's let me get that go by any of that. Where do we get the courage? Who On the other hand, what if she loved him? How did she ask him not to go? That's it. If he welcomed the challenge of the job as much as Stuart, that's all we all care about. We just want to be happy. It was his dream to be as important as she could feel the stress into him. And being shamed into she found the courage to land you the job he loved. That's awful. Nobody Love should say that. Okay, because I mean, she's father. never had to do it before. Yeah, she's but she's 87 now. I know, the muscles are but when whatever we got, whenever she was at the Latrevia's, that was the problem. When we got her to the hospital, she was so clogged, they thought she had cancer. Yeah, yeah because, because they wouldn't let her go on a toilet, and she told us she didn't want to go on a diet. She didn't feel good and had to do that. The father retired to the living room to watch a football game. Lois and Amelia stayed in the kitchen to exchange recipes and plan grandchildren. I'm good at Leanne and Chad went upstairs. A so you're not, not over here buying and selling drugs out of this house? No, no, honey. The baby was I don't even know why they would say that. Chad's because they want everybody to And the ether of Chad and make me this really soft. But don't you get it? It's not mom that said that. that. It's not working. Well, it wasn't mom that said that. Because mom said it was very nice. Mom likes you. Your mother's been nothing but nice to me. Fell from the ivory combs that had held it in a festive knot. Somebody was rattling your uncle out. Let's play, Doc. When we, when we were talking to the uh, clerk just before the trial started, uh -huh. and they said she had been declared incompetent, we were both like, no, that was that was done, you know, a month ago. No, that was only a document note. The court until this never trial. Done. Yeah, so see, you know, what I'm finding is weird. Another big fuck up they made is that until a court of law actually finds her legally incompetent, she's got as many rights as President Obama. Which means that every motherfucking check that they wrote, everything Marsha got paid for, everything they cashed, every place they put her was a complete violation of every right she's got as a human fucking being. Now, her just now being declared legal, legally incompetent, I was speaking to a guy named Marty that does a whole bunch of crazy government shit for the government, and he said that, oh, really? That's breaking so many different federal laws. He said, and when you got a group of these six, you know, lawyers, whatever, all these other people they've had on her case, well, he said, that, that's racketeering and that's organized crime. Because that's six of them all doing something for a profit gain. And he's fighting the case in Colorado right now where they're charging a whole group of these motherfuckers with racketeering and organized crime. Well, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's somebody to open an investigation. Federal agency to open an investigation, that would be fabulous. Yeah, that, that's actually, that's what we're working on now, and that's why we're meeting with a couple of people this coming week. Okay, now, as, keep it under wraps. Yeah, no, no, the, nobody knows about this anywhere. Don't worry about it. Hey, just, uh, you know, and, and don't, don't worry about it. Don't be any more about it. Just let us get served with subpoenas. And then when we get served with subpoenas, we have to testify. Okay. Okay? Okay. And, you know, being served with that type of subpoena, I would love to uh, go in and, uh, and let them ask me all the questions that they want and tell them everything that I... That you've seen, that you've heard, all the craziness that's gone on, the deceit. Exactly. exactly. Everything that's not written that happened. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. And uh, I'll let you know if we need anything.
Somebody's telling no, him. No, your that mother might come up here to check on us. Things he wants That's what the first girl okay. I asked to play that doctor said. First two days. Lee drew back and gave him a look of much disdain. We discussed every kind of drug. And just who was that? Here. And how okay. long ago? That was him bringing About it up. About 25 him years ago. Putting a pot in front of my face and having me smell it. She lived in the store. She came over to play and I suggested hospital. I took my medicine legally. No, well, see, that just told me that. He said, come on, and you said you were going to go to the bank on Friday. Anyway, she moved. I think so much. Does that sound like a hundred thomas? Or that you had some pills you were trying to sell I'm for four dollars a piece? I don't even care. I want her, her, her happy. No, you won't. And really, that's what we all want. She will be happy. Taking her hand, he led her to a desk and being one and calm. When he had sat down in the chair, so you talk to her and just tell her I'm not going to be mean to the caretaker. I'll do nothing but come over and help. Put the eggs on me. Just don't keep me like my dress. I love it. I don't know how long she's got. Never been looking at the red. You know, I already had missed two weeks while I was sick. I'm not missing anymore. They kept me from her for months. That's not going to happen. How do I get into it? She was wore out. 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 And if not, Damn. I'll see. He cursed the tiny okay. buttons that refused to cooperate and pulled away from her in frustration. I'm not going to get you out of this, am I? Not too easily, no. He made an agonized face Thanks and growled right. menacingly. Mm -hmm. Then I'll have to content myself with you. Hey. I'm sorry for yelling at you, okay? Listen, I'm fine. It's about listen. my mother. It's not about Diane. Y'all can make it about listen. my mother, but it's not. Let them make it about whatever they want. Okay. I love her. Okay. That's all I care about. Cool. Good. Okay, so that's all she needs. I, I, I want to come and meet her new caretaker if you don't mind. That way she knows she can call me if she needs any help with anything. I'll, I'll come over and help fine. her do anything. She'll be fine. And her mother. Now, um, who is this woman? Is she like one of Leslie's friends? Dumbass fucking liars. They didn't buy any fucking drugs. Fucking lying motherfuckers. God, they're such fucking liars. Both of them. Kitty, 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 kitty. 